you need to understand that these young men continue to push the limits and how far and how often they can violate the rules without getting in trouble. And the fraternity members after them will do the same. I ask you to hold these young men accountable to the maximum penalties so they and the future BSU fraternity members understand hazing is not tolerated in Wood County. I do believe you and the court system does not want to have another case from a hazing death in your courtroom. Please hold these individuals accountable. Thank you. Another day goes by where I think about how I could put a stop to this. two weeks of trial, and I didn't hear any of your co-defendants. Um, I didn't hear any of the other pledges or members of that fraternity that sounded like adults to me and that were behaving like adults, um, which means that the real adults also have to do something. And if we're going to rely on people that are 20 years old to stop hazing and stop um, excessive alcohol consumption or drug use or all of that that's related to the pressure that is put on somebody to do something that they don't want to do. Um, I don't think we're going to get very far. On counts 4 through 19, I'm going to impose 21 days in jail. And on counts 13 through 19, I'm going to impose the mandatory $500 fine.